We've tended to make belief in Christ like checking off the boxes. Like, oh, I believe these doctrines. Every church has their list, and so therefore now I'm a Christian because I believe these things. Where I think the New Testament takes things wider. It's more than just mentally believing some beliefs. I always look at the rich young ruler. He came to Jesus and said, hey, um, I believe in you and Jesus says oh, you know have you been doing the right things have you given away uh, you know, following the law and giving to the poor and that kind of stuff he says I've been doing all those things since I was a boy this is one thing you lack and tells him to go and give tons of money away and all of it and come follow me and what that boils down to there's a couple uh, Latin words here we talk about orthodoxy orthodoxy is right beliefs and we think oh as long as I have the right beliefs I'm in well, the rich young ruler had those. He believed all those since he was a boy. And then there's orthopraxy, um, which is right um, practices. And so uh, he'd been doing those since he was a boy too. And so what it really boiled down to was another Latin word called orthopathy. So not right beliefs, not right practices, but right affections. And so the bottom line is, in his heart of hearts, even though he'd been believing the right things, quote unquote, doing the right things, quote unquote, in his heart, he still loved his money more than God. And so what does it mean to really believe in Christ? It means to love him, to love him in a way to where we surrender everything we have. And then when we have that love, our practices and our beliefs will follow it. If we start with just the beliefs, you can kind of ignore the others. I think we start with the love because we are who we worship.